Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can install Linux Mint on VMware Workstation. We'll be installing the latest version, which is uh, Linux Mint 22. We'll begin by downloading the ISO image. So just uh, open a browser and search for Linux Mint download. Then go to linuxmint.com. And here you'll see that we have Linux Mint 22.2 Zara. And this different flavors so just pick whatever flavor you want to install I'm going with the cinnamon here click on download so once you click on download and scroll down you'll see there's the different download mirrors here so select whichever one you want for instance if I click on this one the download begins and you can also look at the installation guide if you wanted to so as you can see, it's going to take around 30 minutes to download just due to the file size and the internet speed. So depending on your internet speed, uh, the amount of time it will take is going to vary. So the file size is 2.8 GB. Now I already did the download, so I'm just going to cancel this. So I'm going to skip this step here and I'm just going to exit. Once you have the ISO image, you'll come to VMA Workstation, click on File new virtual machine typical next now I'll go with this option I will install the operating system later next it's Linux and here I'm just going with the Debian next now here you just need to name your virtual machine uh, let me call it uh, Linux Mint. Then you need to select the location where you want to install the virtual machine. Then click next. Then here we need to select or uh, type in the disk size. I'll increase to 40 GB. And then I'm going to go with the option, the second option, split virtual disk. Click next. Here I can click on this option to customize hardware. You can increase the memory here, for instance. If you have more than enough memory, you can increase this. Next, we have a CD DVD. Here is where we will attach the ISO image. So here, select Use ISO image file. Then click on Browse. Then browse to where you downloaded your ISO image. So this is it right here. Select it. Select the ISO image file. Click Open. And then you can go with the default network adapter which is not that's gonna share the host IP address for me I use bridged adapter that allows me to connect to this machine from other devices on my local area network and then this other options I just leave them at default click close finish and this is the new virtual machine now we'll go ahead and uh, power on the virtual machine Okay, start Linux Mint, so press enter. Okay, here we see that we have the option to install Linux Mint, so just double click on this disk. Okay, we'll select the language here, I'm going with English, click continue. Then your keyboard layout, English again continue so I'll check this option to install the media codex I'll click continue okay here it's gonna ask you if you want to erase disk and install Linux Mint yes click on install now then it's gonna it's gonna show you the changes that are gonna be made as it pertains to the disk I'll click continue We'll select the region here and then click continue. On this screen, we need to input our username and then the password. So go ahead and select a username. You can type the name and then the username here. And then you'll need to put in the password for that username.
and then require my password to log in click continue okay so this process might take uh, a while I'll pause the video and come back if we need to input any information so at this point the installation is complete we can restart now okay it's asking us to remove the installation media I just press enter what you can do is you can go to your settings and then under CD DVD you can uncheck this click OK now we have the login screen you see just just put in the password for the user you created okay we are logged in I can uncheck this here and then I'm just gonna close this I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check a few things uh, I'm gonna open the terminal here let me right click and uh, increase the font size custom font let me increase this to uh, You can check the version, cut it see how it's released. So it's a uh, Linux Mint version 22.2, Zara. And I usually just verify that I have a valid IP using the command IP address. And lastly, I just verify that I have uh, internet access and my DNS is working. So I can just try and pin, say Google, let's say count, count three, google.com. I sent three packets and then I received three, zero loss of uh, internet access. And you can also verify DNS using NS, using NS lookup. And put put a website here, google.com again. So this is what it's showing. And that's all for this video. That's how you can install Linux Mint 22.2 on VMware Workstation. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.